How good is Sonny Edwards going to look here tonight at his best? He is an eye-catching talent, just 23 years old, undefeated. Second so out, brother, round one. Accompanying him into the ring, Charlie, WBC flyweight champion. His mum, who's had her own battle against cancer, has made it to ringside. She's sitting close to where we're commentating in a wheelchair. And Sonny will be on a mission to impress. Lovely variety of punch as ever from Edwards. He's already ranked number eight by the WBO. He could be closing in on a world title challenge. Can't his feet to let those punches go. But when he does, he can, he can dig in a little bit. He lacks nothing in terms of uh, self-confidence, Edwards. Lovely work. A little bit lower the left of the body, but what a, what a fluent combination to put together there off the ropes. That's a take another little left hook, mind there, Edwards. Shrugs it off though and throws a three-punch combination. He genuinely just believes he's the best. Not an act. On the punches here. Body well, shot there back on Matos. Nothing huge from Edwards, but a cumulative effect, surely you think. He's not losing up anything. Look how relaxed he is. Touch of gloves. And now the injection of pace. Lovely right hand. And look at the reaction to get away from those attempts at left hook counters. He's been doing a job in Sheffield now for you know, something like 16, 17 years, I think, at Steel City Gym. Good shot. But right now, we've got the two Edwards brothers, his son, Dalton, who's doing fantastically well. He's only just turned over himself. That's as good from Matos, digging deep and coming back. Again, again, he throws that looping right hand, but it needs to be a straight shot there for Matos. He just finds it really hard, isn't he? But once he gets on it, any, any remotely on the balls of his feet, Edwards, Matos can't find him at all. Like that. <laughs> Played back with interest, eh? with him in front of him though prepared to let his gloves go and unhappy that he came off using the head and he's cut Matos has got blood seeping from a wound above his left eye good there from Matos nice right hand left look at the body Matos trying to stay in his face the foot movement fantastic right it was there just a little change of direction sort of double back on himself Matos has his moments in this round, but maybe not doing enough, though. It looks as though it's another round for Edwards. Well, that's not good. Let's see if we can see where that cut came. Was it with a clash of heads or was it with a punch? Lovely work there, making this making him pay there, Edwards. With that big boat, that big barrage of shots there. Referee, the here, referee indicating that it was heads that caused the injury. And get off the ropes, which he is doing now. And coming back from an attack of his own. Strong kid though, this match. I've seen fire back and took about four left hooks. And all he was thinking about was I'm going to throw mine in a minute. Crowd well, reacted to that attack of Edwards. That's good there from Matt Offield. Under pressure, but was always willing to fire back. Left hand looked low, and the referee is going to give him some time, is he? So he doesn't, doesn't need it, Edwards. Uh, I don't think he needs five minutes, does he? On we go.
attack at the end of the round. Goodness me. Tremendous attack in those last few seconds. It's caught him when he was throwing. Just shows how tough Matos is. Gonna, when you get caught when you're throwing like that, very usually you're gone. Oh, great shot. Oh, yeah. shot as well. Need to bring it up now, Edwards. Uh, the referee's seen enough. He doesn't want to see any more. Too many unanswered headshots going in. And referee Phil Edwards says enough is enough. But the damage, I think, was done by that big shot at the end of the previous round. Edwards just continued to apply the pressure. And Phil Edwards, no relation, of course, said enough is enough. <laughs> Still WBO European Super Flyweight Champion, Sonny Showtime Edwards. Yeah, good performance. People say he's a bit of a Marmite sort of boxer. Love him or hate him? Well, he'll do for me.